Hey guys, me, uh, Kelly Max Studios here, and, uh, just wanted to show you, this is, like, kind of update mask vlog thing, I just kind of want to talk about some of the masks I made. Um, we'll talk about this one first, because it's right here. Turn off. No, I'm not going to turn off the lamp, I'm just going to bring it over here, I guess. Bit of lighting. But yeah, this is my, uh, skin, what's it called, skin face mask. But yeah, it says Joker Van 519 on the bottom. I changed my name, so I can't really do anything about it. See, I put KMS for Killer Mask Studios. Um, yeah, I just want to talk about these because, like, especially this one and the Joker one. I'm the only reason I made these is because I just wanted to test them because the basically the nose. It all kind of... I pulled the cast too early and kind of fucked up the nose. But, um... Yeah. I'm not too happy with the paint job on this. Because as you can see, it just like... Flakes off. I just bend it. Like flex, I mean. See, that piece is going to come off now. See, it's going to come off. I, mean, I don't want it to come off, but yeah, it's with the... Clear coat's going off too, I just realized. But yeah, um. <clears throat> the blue is sticking better than I would have expected. I mean, it's still kind of coming off, but. Not as bad as the red and the, uh. Um. Tan, I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like a. Peach color, kind of like a peach skin. I don't know. I forget the actual name, but it's like, uh. Just the paint I use. Um, really like how the blood came out though. The blood looks really nice. Uh, the lips look very chapped as you can see. I can just flex the uh, lips. Right, I'm dressed as Indiana Jones today. Don't mind that. Um, but yeah, I see some of the paint is like chipping and. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, this is with my Art the Clown mold for uh, this mask. Got some of the paints coming off right there. It actually looks like it's miscolored. That's, uh, that's interesting. But yeah. Got the leather straps or string or whatever. Here's the inside. It looks very gory, but I like it. I probably need to talk louder, because I guess I am home alone, so, whatever, I guess I could talk louder. I'm kind of feeling bummed today, so, I don't know. Uh, the black is sticking decently well, except for right here. You know, black on my light, my black paint, I use, same black paint I use for, like, the rest of my colors, like this red and this, uh, like, peach, um, and the blue. But the black seems to stay for a lot, seems to stay a lot better. Yeah, this is basically inspired by uh, um, per the Pretty Woman mask from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Just my own kind of design. It's kind of like the heart. I kind of based. I don't remember if it's actually in Texas Chainsaw Massacre: The Next Generation, but I just put a little heart on here because I'm like, oh, well, why not? Next one I want to talk about is this one. Um, yeah. Um. Basically, I just want to talk about this because uh, this one actually looks better paint-wise, I like, in my opinion. Because it's supposed to look cracked, like cracked makeup. It's supposed to look cracked because of the makeup. That's what I kind of inspired it off of. Is Heath Ledger's Joker. Also, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker and his Leatherface kind of mask. I like the blood right here and on the blood splatter. But yeah, the bullet hole or something right there, I don't know. Like chunk missing. But I really like how this mask came out. It's also red on the inside. Not as red. Because you can definitely uh, tell the difference between these two. Because this one... Let me just turn this off. See, this almost looks... No, looks bright red, but that kind of looks pinkish. But yeah. But yeah. I mean, it's alright, but... I don't know, 
like this meh some like skin showing I guess don't know um, I think the blood looks a little bit too grimy on his lips and on his nose but that's fine this is I think the first one I made out of those uh, Art the Clown molds cause uh I thought it kinda looked like a clown nose kinda like a Kind of like in the movie Clown, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen that movie. Um, the dog rips off his nose. Or no, his wife rips off his nose because it's like uh, he's turning into a clown. She like surgically removes his like nose and the dog eats it. So it kind of looks like uh, it's a big gushing mess. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of what I based it off of. I just realized how thick the nose is. Like, you can barely even flex it. Yeah, it, it, it's decent. Yeah, it's decent, I guess. Yeah, well, now let me show you my uh, Art the Clown, Bloody Art the Clown, and um, the Insidious Demon. Okay, and uh, sorry, that's just my lunch plate. Uh, here's the Art the Clown mask. <laughs> Looks like I got speck of blood on there, I don't know. I don't like the teeth on this one. This one's my least favorite, but it's also sound metal to me, because this is the first latex mask I ever made. The like casting and painted. Uh, don't mind that, it's just where I had to patch a hole. And I didn't know how to patch a latex hole at the time. Um, but yeah, that's what the inside of the mask looks like, kind of like that tannish brown. So yeah. Uh, this mask is actually a lot better. So as you can see, the black doesn't really crack too much. And some of the clear cut's coming off, but that's fine. Uh, this one's got, like, white elastic strap. It's also got the, uh, GF Joker Fan 519 on there. Also, art number one by J J Joker Fan 519. Um, yeah, I'll get to it in a minute, but the teeth are very dark in this one. Let me see if I can give him better light. See, it's not that good. It looks very dark teeth. The gums seem a little bit accurate, though. They're blood, dark red gums. Yeah. Now let's move on to, uh, this guy. This one's also a pretty thick cast, I just realized. But I'm not good at knowing when to, how to cast really well and stuff. This one's like more warped as shit. But yeah. Um, here is the uh, bloody art. So that's what the teeth are supposed to look like, I believe. Don't know why I put blood on the teeth, but kind of makes it cool. Um, basically the same as this one. It's just bloody art. It's put blood on it. Look at some of that blood spray off. Art number two. So two or one, I can't, I think I may have put one, because I think I was going to write bloody art. Um, I guess this could just be art two. Um, as you can see, it's kind of wrinkling on the inside, because if you can tell, this is a really, this side is very thick. I wish I could show you guys in general, but, see, it's not even wanting to bend. Like, say if I put it, like, right here, it's like, Wanted to bend, flex. Right here, kind of doesn't. It's so. Yeah, it's so thick, and the mouth part's really thick too. The nose is a little thick. And this is probably the thinnest cast to have for this one. It's the uh, lipstick demon from uh, Insidious. Look at a lot of the clear kits come off. That's weird. But yeah. The black stays very well, as you can see. The black stays actually very well. But the red, you can find a different red paint. See, as you can see, it splits if you flex it. Don't want to flex it too much right after you paint it. But yeah, it's. This is a work in progress, and those two are a work in progress. So yeah. You're a work in progress. Sorry, I was just drinking some Dr. Pepper. And I also, read, also I painted this mask not too, not too long ago. 
made it look very weathered and old. No, that wasn't supposed to happen, but it's supposed to look like it's all bloody and gross and all worn out. And even the strap is like really bloody and shit. Yeah. It's supposed to look like it's been through, like, it, it's supposed to look like it's been through all the movies, like, one mask was used for all the movies. That's kind of where I, my take on it. But yeah, hold on. But yeah, that's basically about it. Um, and another drink. Um, put some, my Freddy, remake Freddy figure in my reaction Freddy next to my mask of Freddy Krueger. Yes, it's the remake Freddy Krueger. I... Personally, don't want the uh, Trick or Treat Studios Freddy Krueger mask. Cause I have a big. I like. I mean, I love the original 1984 uh, Nightmare on Elm Street film. That one's very sentimental to me. It's what got me into horror. But um. But yeah, I I just prefer for, like Jackie Earl Haley. I don't know if you know who that is. He played Rorschach in The Watchmen. He was in a lot of movies where he played pedophiles and psych psychos and. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I just like the portrayal of Freddy Krueger. It's actually seemed realistic. The burns are realistic. His story of being shot predator was realistic. I mean, that was originally the plan for the uh, Robert England Freddy Krueger, but Wes Craven decided not to use that, and I guess for good reason. But I don't know. I just like the remake Freddy more. Uh, Leatherface. It's fifty fifty. It depends on my mood. Either remake Leatherface or just. Classic Leatherface. Um, like, I have a very sentimental thing for the remakes, but also, I'm trying to get more into the classics. It's like something on my screen. But, um, I'm trying to get into more into the classics, trying to branch out from, like, the remakes. I mean, I think the only remakes I've seen is, let's see, I've seen the Rob Zombie ones. I've seen, uh I've seen the Texas Chainsaw one. Where is it? I don't know where Texas Chainsaw is. Oh, I've seen the Friday Thirteenth one. Um, I'm not sure where I put my Texas Chainsaw one. Right here. Yeah, right here it is. Right there. Yeah, I've seen the remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Friday the 13th, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, Halloween. I think those are the only remakes I've seen, not including the uh, MTV Scream series, because some people consider that a remake, I kind of do as well, but kind of not at the same time. Um, this horror remakes by Michael Bay and Rob Zombie. Rob Zombie obviously did the uh, Halloween ones because everyone calls them the RZ or Rob Zombie Halloween movies. But Michael Bay actually had something to do. He actually, I think, did something with uh, Texas Chains Massacre, Nightmare on, Nightmare on Elm Street, and Friday Thirteenth. Like he had some kind of he had some kind of work in that. I don't remember if he's the director or not. But and some people might say, "Oh, that's why they're bad." I actually don't mind his remake movies if he does make them. Like direct him or whatever. Uh, Michael Bay isn't a bad director. I mean, I personally didn't like his Transformers movies. I think I'm not a big Transformers person. Yes, I have a uh, Bumblebee toy that I got from McDonald's when I was a kid. I also got Starscream in my closet. That's about it. That's all I have Transformers. Just that I can think of. So I'm not the biggest Transformers person. Um. I'm more into Legos, masks, figures, um, cosplay. There's more Indiana Jones leather jacket. Um, collectibles. So yeah, that's pretty much all I'm really into. Oh, Indian and Indiana Jones, but that's kind of collecting too. Kind of a, an obsession, really, but yeah. But yeah, I like collecting pretty much everything. Anything that... I want to collect more knives. And I think some of them are in storage. Here's a few right here. Like a Smith & Wesson. 
Attack Force. I'm not sure what that one is. Uh, this is a switch blade I got and uh, out the front knife by U.S. Marine Corps or something. I don't know. Don't think there are any others in there. But yeah, I got, oh, I got this Buck 110. Got another one up here that I made a custom sheath for. Got my uh, collector throwing knives. And I got my Buck 119. And most of the stuff I got used. Like I got my, uh, both my Buck 110s I got used. This Buck 119 I got used. Um, this, uh, um, out the front knife I got used, and same with this Tack Force one. I think the only ones I bought brand new was this one, like this medieval looking one. Um, oh, wait, here's also used one I got, it's like a German, I think, knockoff knife, I don't know. Yeah, the only newest one, the ones I got brand new were this one. This one, um, this battering, and that switchblade is in there. I'm not going to show it to you right now, but that's pretty much all the ones I've gotten new, first hand. Don't think I have any more knives, do I? Not including Sting over there. Sorry, I'm just trying to walk around my room because I'm pacing, I guess. But I don't think I have any other knives that I have that like, I bought new. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've bought new. I also got this for my buddy Chris. I have the other two somewhere. I think they're in storage. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. We got this prop knives up there. The foam knives. Um, this plastic 120 buck. So yeah. I also made this leather sheath. Like, broke the uh, rivet thing, so I had to use, like, one of those, like, I don't know what they're called. Then there's this prop, uh, Michael Myers knife, a like, kitchen knife. Put grime and blood all over it, and it's pretty gnarly. But, yeah. I have a lot of fake weapons. I have a decent amount of fake weapons. Got, like, a fake glow-in-the-dark. Well, not fake glow-in-the-dark. But a glow-in-the-dark Party City buck knife. Uh, pink ton. I got a Comic Con. It's, it's plastic, but got two plastic sights. Got that light, this light up knife. This tag chrome. Um, uh, prop. Guess this knife. This prop knife I painted in blood, bloodied up. I actually did electrical tape around the uh, handle because I thought it was cool. So I had actual uh, electrical tape lying around. Got this lightsaber, got this hammer that's kind of broken. Um, got a whole bunch of shit in here. Got this saw. Hacksaw, I don't know. Got the sword. So yeah, I got a bunch of stuff. I just, yeah. This has been, this is way over, this is more than just mask stuff, but yeah. Um... Don't remember if I showed this in the last video or not, but this is like an Easter Unlimited uh, white face mask. Come on, you stay up there. Let's see. Come on, you. There we go. There, I guess. Um, but yeah. Uh, and if you're wondering why there's fake blood on the wall, I was, I wasn't thinking I bloodied up some masks, so it kind of looks like uh, got more blood. Not this one though, because I like this one too much. This one's. Really nice. I think I paid like 80 bucks for it. Sadly, I think the uh, company that made it, it doesn't make masks anymore, which really sucks. So I would have liked to get another one of their masks, but whatever. At least I have this one. Um, my Dr. Manhattan mask. My Joaquin Phoenix Joker mask. My, not sure what kind of mask that is. This is a Joker mask. There's a... KMB ghost face. I just realized the nose isn't painted again, damn it. My uh, KMB uh, ghost face mask that uh, Nightmare Fuel Studios made, and I painted it up and strapped it. Uh, I finally added hair to Leslie Vernon. 
not the best hair job, but whatever. Um, uh, bloody Hannibal Lecter. Uh, my hush mask. It's kind of shit, but whatever. Uh, my two paper mache masks. They're really tiny on my head. Skull mask. My Hawks. Remake Jason. My own custom Jason. Never hike alone Jason. It's a crappy couple of Brandon James masks. I don't, I don't know. These, these masks are old. Like when, uh, before I knew that, uh, uh, Phone World made, uh, M2, well, I knew M2 Scream, or Phone World made M2 Scream masks. I just didn't, I, it was like summer one year and I just wanted one so bad, so I just made these, like, extra white masks laying around. But now I have, uh, that fun work one that I got tagged after that after that happened because I saw it on Amazon. So I'm like, oh, that's fun. I got another one in the closet, but it's been through hell and back. Probably because it's my favorite Chris's. I also got this, uh, um, yeah, glasses. This, uh, Brandon James mask that Never Feel Studios also made. He also made this collector, if you didn't know. I really love this collector. Um, I think that's all the masks I have by him. Oh, you know, I also got this one. I didn't buy this directly from Nightmare for Studios, though. That's something someone else gave me. I bought it secondhand. I also bought that, uh, Scare for Ghost Face from the same seller. Not gonna name who it is, because apparently they're a douchebag. But, um, the guy who originally owned this, uh, Scare for Ghost Face isn't a douchebag. I actually hope he's doing well. I haven't talked to him forever. I tried contacting him the other day, but I couldn't find uh, his uh, account on Instagram, so that sucks. But yeah, that guy is a lovely person to talk to. He's awesome. I think I'm, I think he's in my uh, friends list on YouTube, but uh, he doesn't upload videos or anything. I don't even know if he's still as active on that channel or not. But yeah. Um... Here's my uh, Spider-Man shelf. I guess it's just to show you. There's some of our Spider-Man, Wonderful Green Goblin, Black Suit Spider-Man, Venom. Uh, what's the fucking guy's name? James Franco, New Goblin, or Harry Osborn, Andrew Garfield, Spider-Man, and I forget hit Michael J. Fox. I think is his name. Electro. I don't know. Not really good on actors' names. I also got another Tobey Maguire right here, but he's kind of just, yeah. This is my custom Spider-Man I made out of a, uh, um, um, what's it called? Miss Spider-Man 2, Andrew Garfield Spider-Man. I also got Deadpool and Wolverine. Another Breaking Bad RV. This is actually new. I got that for Christmas. I got a lot of stuff for Christmas, but yeah. I also got this Rob Zombie Funko Pop for Christmas. That's pretty cool. Shout out to you, Mom and Dad. Um, I think that's all. It's somewhat new. Oh, I also bought these Ghostface plushes from Target. Okay, this one I got, I think, from uh, uh, Best Buy. And that one I got from Target. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, is there anything else? Just double checking. I still need to make a video about this sometime. Maybe not on this channel because I want to show my face. But yeah, it's a custom Indiana Jones Temple of Doom hat. Uh, made to be, made by the awesome hatter Kirk Brockman. Kirk Brockman. I don't, I don't know how you pronounce it, but thank you, Kirk, at Broken Skull Hat Company. Okay, zoom out a little bit so you can show you the whole thing. But yeah, thank you, brother. It's awesome. And kind of wearing it non stop unless it's raining because I don't want to ruin it. Yeah, thank you so much, Kirk. So, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.